Okay, today we have the Russian Zorky 4. This is kind of a really cool camera. This came, I think I maybe spent $30 on eBay for it. It came with a 50 millimeter f2 lens. I think it's called a Jupiter. And this little wrist strap. It's got a really good build actually. It has a nice viewfinder. I would say the viewfinder rivals a lot of rangefinder viewfinders. I don't know if I like all of the Russian cameras that come over, but this one I like. And this one happened to be really clean. When I got this, it has all of the uh, leather intact and it's just in really nice shape. The viewfinder is really bright. The rangefinder patch is really bright. If you were using a Leica 3F, you have two windows, one for the rangefinder focus and one for the viewfinder to actually take the picture. So you have to move your eye between two windows. This one only has one. This one has a viewfinder patch in the viewfinder. This one works really well. Another nice thing about this, this one actually has a diopter setting on this little lever right here is a diopter setting so you can set it for your prescription so you don't need glasses to work with it. The one thing about all Russian cameras is you have to cock the shutter after you use it every time and before you turn the shutter speed. You don't want to shoot a picture and then turn the shutter speed. You want to reset the shutter before you change the speed because these are known for being a little troublesome. They don't like being adjusted until they're cocked and ready. So there's a lot of warnings out there saying don't cock, don't change the shutter speed before you cock the shutter. I agree with that, and I don't. This is a fun camera, it's small, it's pretty lightweight. It feels like a, like a light kind of camera. It's, uh, I, would take, I would open the back and show it to you, but it's got film in it right now, so I'll make another video where I can show you the insides once I have a camera that doesn't have any film in it. But I wanted to show it to you, a lot of people have asked about the Russian cameras. I like this one, the Zorky 4. It's the only one I have, so I can't really talk about the other ones, but I think that it's a, a winner. Find one that's really clean, find one that the shutters are all working, this one is one of those. Again, once I get the film out of it, I'll do a close-up of it, and I'll show you all the shutter speeds and how to check those. And I'll open it up and we'll look inside. All right, that's a Zorky 4. It's a fun little camera. I'll see you next time.